Hey guys, it's your favorite YouTuber. Doctor Strange. Drax, my man. Can't you see I'm recording a video? Please buzz off. I've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still that I've become invisible to the eye. Right. <laughs> so guys, in this video I'll be shedding some light on a very pressing topic that a lot of you guys must be struggling with. And that is having less number of villains in your roster and questions troubling you like which villains are good and free to play friendly, who to build and what to expect from them likewise. In this video I'll be reviewing Hydro Man and Molten Man from the last Spider-Man Far From Home update. I tier 2 both Hydro Man and Molten Man, not that Hydro Man looks bad, I prefer Molten Man more because he reminds me of Nemesis from Age of Apocalypse if you guys have watched it. I have a pretty decent build for both of them and we will be taking them into some world boss ultimate action and we'll be comparing who is better than the other. You guys can see my Molten Man is ranked 42,730 in the world. I've invested quite a lot in it, yet to be disappointed cause he is not that strong. Molten Man is definitely better than Hydro Man. If you are selecting between the two, I would prefer you go for Molten Man first. My Molten Man is unranked in the world just because everyone is building him and knows that he's better than Hydro Man. So I prefer you go for him first too. Don't take my results as a gospel for them. Cause my build is just slightly above than average and also because my raid level is also very low. That is in fact the reason I had to go for stage 10 in World Boss Ultimate. I am taking Shuri for her support and Ghost Panther for his lead along with some strong strikers. And I took Jean Grey for additional fire damage. You should always start with the third skill for the buff and then switch to 5 along with proc for great damage. Then go for 1 cancel 2 and then 4 and then again into 3. And as you guys can see I almost did a bar worth of damage. I always like to switch when he goes into this phase just to be extra sure. Now again repeat the rotation. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. Oops, I got stunned there. All is said and done. That was some juicy damage. See guys, so many fire beams at stage 10. That doesn't even happen at stage 30. <laughs> So 
so molten man can do it in about 2 minutes 7 seconds let's see how much time will hydro man take ooh 24 ccf nice so guys i am going at a stage 5 with hydro man just because he sucks yes guys call me a noob but i tried 10 times and he died anyways i'll put my retries in the middle even at a stage as low as 5 hydro man struggle to survive he has immunity, guard hit and other meta stuffs, but those are tied at the end of the skills. Hydroman might not be as strong as I may have contemplated, let me put it that way. He looks great and his animations are amazing, but his survivability sucks. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything, fire spreading I am planning on making a new series called Villains of Marvel Future Fight in which I'll be reviewing all the villains in the game and their potentials. If you like my idea, do tell me in the comment section down below. Your opinion means a lot to me, so make sure you do. So guys, thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Till then, goodbye. Hunter on Hive, signing out.